Chuck's next big adventure. This time he's in Chicago and one of his favorite places, Wrigley Field. I love Wrigley Field. I thought I knew everything about Wrigley Field, but Chuck, I didn't know that one of the most iconic features of Wrigley Field was actually inspired by Indianapolis. Yes, and that was a bit of a surprise to me. You know, Wrigley Field has three historical landmarks in that stadium itself. The marquee, the scoreboard, and the ivy. Now, as the story goes, back in 1937, owner P.K. Wrigley came across a minor league park in Indianapolis, known then as Perry Stadium, then Victory Field and Bush Stadium, with ivy growing on the walls and the rest, as they say, is history. Wrigley got his groundskeepers, told them to make it happen, and in a hurry, 72 hours. So the crew went out, bought all the ivy they could, and of course, over that 72-hour uh, period, they strung the vines from foul pole to foul pole. Now that ivy has been growing ever since and is hand-trimmed each season. Guys, one of the most common questions on the tour is, what happens if a ball is hit and lands in the ivy? Balls that go in on a game or during a game and don't come out, an outfielder should put his arms up, let the umpire know he can't find the ball. At that point, it's going to be a ground rule double. It's be two bases for the uh, for the batter. If he puts his hand in to find a baseball to throw uh, to, to throw back, he better come up with one. He can't put his hand in and say, oh, you know what, I tried, but keep him at second. The umpire is going to wave it off. It's going to be a live ball, which more than likely means that hitter is going to get himself an inside the park home run. And that has happened many times. Now, during the tour, fans can actually go down on the field and get up close with the Ivy. The most important rule, look, don't touch. And I'll tell you, it was really neat to be there and take some great pictures. Well, you can learn more about the tours in my blog at WTHR.com slash Chuck's Big Adventure. But we're not finished with Wrigley Field yet. In the next half hour, we're going to show you some scenes you probably have not seen at that historic ballpark. And then coming up later this week, we're going to be with the band Chicago. We're going to be a tall ship in Lake Michigan and many more surprises, some of them including pizza. That's what I'm looking forward to right there. That's what I'm looking forward to. So I, I find it so interesting. I wonder if anyone's ever tried to like clip off a little bit of that IV to take home. You will get your hands smacked. <laughs> it sounds like it. You 